Hi, my name is Maria Gutierrez. I'm going to talk to you today about how to remember the Ethernet standards. I'm certified in almost everything CompTIA. I have a few certifications left that I am working on, so hopefully this will help you. First of all, the Network Plus standards are stated on the exam objectives. So go ahead and memorize these. I'll wait. Memorize them yet? What about their speeds and maximum distances? I'm just kidding. Let's get to the tricks. <laughs> because these are the only standard listed on the CompT exam, they're the only ones that I'm going to cover. Although, I'll note a couple of things that will help you in your daily work. First, we're going to go ahead and use the 10 base T standard as an example. And we'll split this number into three parts, a prefix part, a middle part, and a suffix. Now, let's look at the prefix. These numbers are 10, 100, 1000, or 1G. This actually represents the speed of the standard in megabits per second. The G indicates gigabits per second. In our example, this means the 10 is 10 megabits per second. Next, the middle part. In all our CompTIA standards, it's always base. We're done, right? No, there's a lesson to be learned here. What does base mean? Well, it means all your base are belong to us. Google it if you didn't get the reference. It was a joke. It really means baseband or broadband. I want you to think about your DSL or your cable internet service. Both are broadband. And what do they have in common? They actually have multiple information streams coming on that line that comes to your house. For DSL, it's voice and internet data. And for cable, it's television and internet data. Boss baseband is the only one information stream. And broadband has more than one. So back in the dial-up days, it was baseband, and that's carried over as well in our internet standards, our ethernet standards. Finally, let's go ahead and look at this suffix. The suffix tells us the cable type and the maximum cable length or distance that this can go. It can be broken into three parts. Numbers, letters, T or C letters, and all of the other letters. <laughs> if you see a number in the suffix, that means it's a coax cable. And if it's a two, it's about 200 meters. And if it's a five, it's about 500 meters. That should be easy to remember. For the T or C letters, these are twisted pair or cap five. I like to think the T as twisted pair and the C is cap five. And it's cap five plus, whatever standard above cap five. And for T, the distance is always 100 meters. These can, letters can be by themselves, or they can be with other, other letters, like T, TX, C, or CX. Finally, all of those other letters, in short, they mean fiber. As long as they don't have a T or C in them, it's fiber. These also can have other letters attached, and the important ones are E, is in echo, F, is in Frank and SSC era. E actually means extended, 40 kilometers or 25 miles, and it's single mode fiber. F is 2,000 meters, two, two kilometers, and multimode fiber. S is 300 meters and multimode fiber. So what does that mean? Back to this 10 base T example, it means 10 base T goes 10 megabits per second on twisted pair cat 5 plus, and its maximum cable length is 100 meters. So let's do some testing of what we learned. First, we're going to do some fake examples, just made up standards, just to get the pattern down, and then we'll move on to some real examples. So 10 gigabase 5. Hmm. So, 10 gigabits per second on coax at 500 meters. Way fast coax, I wish we had that. 
100 base ER. So the 100 tells us 100 makes megabits per second, and ER is fiber in the extended range, 40 kilometers. That is some really slow fiber. Next, let's move some real examples because those, those ones are fun, but they're not real. So the first one is 10 G base SR. Got it? 10 gigabits per second, fiber, and 300 meters. 10 base two. So 10 megabits per second, the two is coax and 200 meters. Well, 185 exactly, but 200 is close enough. And 10 gigabase T. 10 gigabits per second, 100 meters, and this is actually over CAT6, but that C twisted pair mnemonic works just fine. There you go, I hope this helped. Thank you.